So what's up guys, Darren here from Darren On Demand. Hope you're keeping well. It's been a while since I've actually done a video. Uh, the last video was when we went uh, from Benidorm to Barcelona and spent four days up there. Um, today I've actually got all my kit now for producing candles, bespoke candles for clients. So today I wanted to show you uh, the bits and pieces that you actually need to make a candle and the procedures on making a candle. So um, we've got some of these, these little candle holders here. Don't know if they're candle holders or for drink, um, but we need to firstly make sure that uh, there's no dust inside the actual glass itself, which there isn't, everything's out of there. So that will be what we will be using for um, the actual candle itself. So the other things that you actually need is the candle wax. Now the candle wax that I actually use is GV35, which is a, uh, used for glass so that there's no um, pigments, no bubbles, no nothing actually in the glass when you're producing it in a glass so that you can actually see the whole thing. Um, so that's that. You also then need uh, one of these. Now one of these actually sit on top of the glass um, or that way round so you can see there that way round and that actually holds the candle wick in place so it doesn't move when you're actually pouring uh, the actual wax into it um, you've also got these little sticky tabs which actually stick the wax, uh, the wax candle stick to the bottom of the glass um, the other thing that you need is uh, the essential oils, the oils that will actually be used in there to give the candle the smell. Now, some people have ordered them from us and they just wanted colored candles so they didn't want any smell at all. Um, other people have asked for uh, a smell to actually be put into the candle as well. So you also then need your jug, which will be going onto the hob to actually burn, uh, not burn, uh, to actually um, melt the candle wax so that it's in a form that you can then pour into the container um, and then you need one of these now these actually measure the temperature of the wax now when we heat the wax up on the hob it'll be a lot hotter so when you can actually pour it into the glass now the reason for this if you pour it into the glass too hot then what you would get is you would actually get um like a sinking pothole actually within the actual uh, candle itself. So when the candle actually dries, um, when you look in the top, there'll be a hole and that's just because where the actual wax has expanded so much and then uh, contracted as it's got cooler and then that produces a hole. So we don't want that. So yes, so let's, uh, let's carry on and get the first candle done. Okay, so first things first, I've got the wax here um, and I'm actually going to break some up. I just use a knife to chip away at it. Um, and this is actually then going to be put into the container that I showed you earlier, which is this one here. This has already got some wax in, a li just a little bit of wax. So um, I'm just going to like break this and put that actually into the bowl itself now I don't need a huge amount on this because as you can see by the actual candle holder itself it's not huge it's not a big size so I'm actually just going to put the relevant amount of wax in that I need because I've been doing this for a while I actually know roughly how much that I actually need. So, put the hob on, put the one on that you intend to use, and then from this, I'll put this actually onto the hob, and we'll give that a little minute to actually melt. That won't take long to melt, 
that actually won't take long to melt at all. Um, probably literally 30 seconds to a minute it'll actually take. Um, now another thing that I didn't show you is, um, where did I put it? Is actually crayon, wax crayon. Now I actually use wax crayons to actually color my candles. So what I'll do is when the wax has when the wax has actually melted uh, and I've stirred it a few times, then I will actually add uh, a wax crayon or half a wax crayon into the mix to actually turn the colour of the wax into desired colour that I want, which today is going to be yellow. Um, now, we do also have um, the wax dyes that, again, is just another form of wax, uh, little broken bits that again you put in and you melt into the wax and it produces the colour. So yeah, let's just carry on. So you can actually see in there that the wax is now starting to melt. And when that's fully melted, we will then check the temperature. We'll check the temperature and add the actual um, crayon in there to produce the color that I want. So back in a minute. Okay, so while we're waiting for the candle wax to melt, uh, I'm actually gonna put my little sticky tab onto the actual wick itself. And because it's only a small glass, I can actually just reach the bottom of the glass to actually put in the wax candle. So you can actually see from there that it's actually now in place. So to stop that actually moving, we now put the attachment on and fit that into place. So once that's in place, Candle, the candle wick won't actually move now. So that's it actually in place. Okay. Okay, so you can see now from the candle wax, it's fully melted. So I'm actually gonna bring it off the heat. So you can see it's fully melted. And what I'm gonna do is then break Going to break the actual crayon and put that into the die as well, into the actual uh, so I'll give that a mix. And as you can see, it's turned yellow already. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat off because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to bring my wax over to this little table that I'm working at and the actual uh, the actual crayon has now melted so as you can see there nice and yellow it's going to be going into there so what I now have to do is with this check the temperature so the temperature there is 96.34 and it's going down slightly so I now before I actually pour that into the glass I need to actually wait for that to get down to 62 degrees which is the the temperature that is ideal for this this wax that I'm actually using before I can actually pour it into the glass um, so whilst that's cooling down I have these which is the nine essential oils and if I open that up, it's quite hard doing it with one hand. But if I open that up, I have nine oils. I have frankincense. I have frankincense, eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, lemongrass, tea tree, sweet orange, cinnamon, and I don't know if they class it as yang yang or lang lang. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to put eucalyptus in this one, actually. I'm going to put eucalyptus in. No, I'm not. I'm going to do lemongrass because obviously it's yellow. 
so I'm actually going to do lemongrass so uh, yeah so because the actual glass isn't that big I still need to put 10 about 10 percent of what I have in wax in regards to oil so let's do that now okay so I'm going to open the lemongrass and take this over back to the oil and actually pour this in so to actually give it a nice very nice smell which I just have then if you're making them professionally then everything is done by actual weights so proper weights when I'm doing them for myself to just burn at home then I just put in whatever amount of smell that I want to actually get a lovely and that is sorry guys if this was smell -a vision you'd be able to smell it and you would love the smell of this lemongrass so nice it smells a bit like um, um, like the lemon stuff that like lem sip that you have to have when you've got a poorly throat or a cold or something like that it just smells lush so yeah so I'll come back when uh, it's down to temperature and then I can pour it so let's just check the temperature again so temperature is 89 88 it's got to be 62 so I'll come back okay so we're almost at the desired temperature it's currently sitting at 65 but it is going down so just make sure you get different areas there we go okay so give it another minute and we'll be ready to pour okay guys so we are now ready to pour so hold the spoon out of the way like so and there's no real speed of pouring don't pop don't pour fast don't pour too slow just pour how you feel comfortable with simple as that guys so let's have a look from the front just perfect really in regards to the height they're still a little bit at the top you can see I didn't want to fill it right to the top and obviously as that sets that'd be sweet so there you go smells lovely it's gonna set I'll actually cut the wick down so that it's only sort of like a couple of centimeters above not even that really cut it a little shorter than that probably one centimeter from the actual above and then there we go candle number one again if you're doing multiples you can actually do a much bigger tin and actually uh, melt a lot more of the wax down um, and then pour in as you need to um, and take it from there and so guys here's my finished candle all set and ready to go as you can see I actually cut down the, uh, the actual wick to the length that it needed to be and it is full ready to go I've taken some photos of it already on this uh, background drop that I've got so yeah so guys I hope you liked the video it was a quick one well, it wasn't a quick one actually it was about 10 minutes probably after I chopped it down it might be a little bit less but um, but yeah that's how I actually produce candles for 
ourselves and also for our clients. So if you're interested in ordering any of the candles, um, I will be putting up some pictures of uh, the different containers that we actually use, whether or not they're glass or plastic or even ceramic. Um, then get in touch, comment below, tell us what you're looking for. I'm not a professional candle maker, I just do it as a craft. So, um, but if there's anybody out there that actually does want to purchase the candles from me, then just get in touch. But hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, please smash that uh, thumbs up button, click that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. But until the next time, it's me, Darren from Darren On Demand, and remember the saying, demand nothing less, and I'll see you on the other side. See ya.